Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service out of San Diego. Yes, more heat. Uh, the heat wave is dissipating though, so we have some good news for midweek. It remains above average temperatures. Isolated thunderstorms affecting our mountains and our desert slopes, and even some in our lower deserts also through midweek. Let's take a look at a few things. Now the big heat dome or upper level ridge of high pressure providing the sinking, compressing air and the warmth. Uh, it's also creating that southerly flow as shown in the arrow here, the monsoonal flow. Big changes, uh, Tuesday to Thursday, it weakens dramatically. So hang in there. The excessive heat will break after Tuesday. Now it doesn't go away, it rebuilds. It builds back in on Saturday, as well as that southerly flow. But take a look at next week, a big change in the weather pattern for cooler, drier, a little windier as the flow is no longer coming up out of the tropics and it's coming off the Pacific. So that could be a big change and finally break uh, the excessive heat. The tropics are really active. The good news is that all these storms are forecast to move west. So that upper level ridge that I showed you is blocking it and steering them in their normal direction out to sea. Uh, very active though, four named storms. So the heat risk is still severe, uh, not as severe. So we're finally seeing a decrease, though the widespread orange and red, moderate to major over inland areas on Tuesday. Some of the temperatures look like this, around 115 for the lower deserts, that's hot. Uh, 105 to 108 for the Inland Empire, Elsinore Convergence area. So really a continuation of what we saw over the weekend uh, and today. Uh, with only relief on Tuesday on the coast. Not so hot there. Now, uh, I mentioned isolated thunderstorms. They'll be forming over the mountains through Wednesday. Some of those could drift over the deserts. We see south flow coming from south to north on Tuesday. That'll steer those storms. And then we see an easterly flow coming from east to west on Wednesday. So that'll be a little change in movement. And you can see a little more coverage on Wednesday, especially in the deserts. Not as hot. Uh, so midweek, Wednesday, temperatures much closer to more seasonable average temperatures. It's still very warm, uh, but at least it's near the averages. Heating back up for the weekend. Yes, here's Saturday's outlook and you see temperatures almost as hot as what we're experiencing early this week. So don't forget the heat returns for the weekend. How hot has it been? Uh, well, if you look at June, July, early August, several degrees above normal in that orange affecting our mountains and deserts. In fact, Palm Springs and Borrego Springs, hottest July on record. Palm Springs averaged 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Their average high was just shy of 115. So in order to get records, um, you need to have a lot of number ones or first place. And we saw that in the early to mid-July heat wave. That was number one, not just in Southern California, but extended up into the Central Valley and much of the Great Basin and Southwest. We had some precipitation. Uh, it wasn't much, but we have a few monsoonal thunderstorms, 29 palms, a little bit excessive, as you can see, it shows up here as above average, more than usual. And then San Diego Mountains, almost touching average with the several thunderstorms that occurred over the Laguna Mountains. Elsewhere in the deep southwest, Southern California, was below average monsoon, drier than normal in most of the deserts. Here are some resources for heat risk, current weather alerts, always check that, and then other hazardous weather outlooks um, are posted on the link shown here. So everyone, hang in there. There is some relief in sight uh, with the weather pattern change potentially next week, so stay cool.